I'll be better off than I was before. I've got this life, I'll be around to grow who I was before. I cannot recall long, long nights aloud. To feel I'm falling, I am falling, the lights go out. Let me feel I'm falling, I am falling safely to the ground. Uh. It's been over a year since I bought my off grid property and figured it was time for a bit of a life update on projects and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I haven't really had a chance to do much on the off-grid property because in the early spring, I ended, up being, I ended up being diagnosed with something called Morton syndrome, which basically stopped me from being able to walk. It was like really painful to walk, so I couldn't walk anywhere. I couldn't really do anything physical. I was pretty much stuck in a chair all the time. So I ended up getting orthotics, which doesn't really make it go away, but it I guess it helps to not make it worse and then it still wasn't getting better so I ended up getting a cortisone shot which has helped and I got it in end of summer and so far so good like the pain is gone but basically by the time I got the shot all my vacation was used up so I just never got a chance to work on the property. I did go visit it though a couple times and I found a couple spots that might be suitable to build because the property is mostly all trees so I need to clear all the trees myself with the chainsaw so it's gonna be a big job but I found some areas that are a little bit more open so the trees are not as close together and I like I even found one spot where if I cut like 10 trees I'm gonna end up with like a spot big enough for a cabin so I'm hoping that this year in 2023 like this summer once the snow is gone that I'll actually be able to start I bought a lot of tools over the year like I even bought like a post hole digger so I can use that to make the holes and then put the sono tubes in and make like a foundation basically. I haven't really had a chance to use it because the last time I tried to use it, it was here in my yard, but the ground was already frozen. So it didn't quite work, like it wasn't going through. So I'm hoping that when the ground is not frozen, it's actually gonna work because I've never really used it. It's an electric greenworks one, 80 volts. And most of the time people use gas ones, but I've been trying to go electric for everything because basically free power, especially when I'm off grid. I can just charge it with solar. And I also bought a lot of parts to build a small solar system. So like I have a lot of stuff here to kind of get myself ready on the off grid property. But the first order of business is I need to build an outhouse because you need a place to go. And I need to build some kind of garage or shed so I can start bringing supplies. And then I need to start thinking about security because of thieves. That's a huge epidemic pretty much everywhere. Like. I always say it's bad here, but really it's bad everywhere. The problem is that current liberal governments just enable it and I don't even want to go there, but it's a big problem. So yeah, so that's that as far as the property goes. I've also started on the garage here at home because there's a lot of things I want to build for the property that I need a place to build it on, like a workshop. So that's the whole idea with the garage. I built a wall on one side so I can support the overhead joist. And with that in place, I'll be able to actually insulate and drywall and do all that stuff and actually make it in place that's conditioned. I'm hoping to finish that this winter because I can technically work on that in winter. I mean, it's kind of miserable because it's cold, but once you get moving, it's not that bad. At least I'm not dealing with snow or anything like that. It's like, it's still dry. It's a pain working in there because it's so small. So like I'm always moving stuff around. I also bought an ATV. I was hoping to actually get to use it and bring it on the property and store it there but I never built anything on the property so it's still here and it's taking up like literally one quarter of the garage that's just how small the garage is so that's a bit of a problem but I've kind of been working around it also as you saw from the intro my cat has unfortunately passed away she was almost 18 years old like she was like 17 and like a couple days shy of turning 18 she lived a good life but it's always hard I mean I've had her since I was in high school basically had her for half my life. I'm 36, so like, I may as well say she was 18. So yeah, like I had her for half my life. So it's, 
it's been a pretty big hole not having her around. So I am thinking of getting another cat at some point, maybe two. I just don't want to rush into it, so I'm just waiting. But yeah, that was that was tough. Like I'm finally starting to get over it now, but it wasn't easy. But yeah, really, I haven't really been doing much videos lately because I've just kind of been working on little projects here and there. Like I did upgrade my shed solar. I basically retailed the solar panels because they were kind of like that and I wanted them to be more like that. So I had to build like all the framing and stuff. Because of all inflation crap and COVID and all that crap is like everything is so expensive now, so that doesn't help. So it makes building anything harder because like all the building supplies just cost so much. Like I'd like to actually get into welding at some point, but I think that ship has sailed because like the price of steel, it's just nuts. It's just becoming unaffordable to build stuff now. And I mean, new cars are insane expensive too. Like they want us to go all electric, but they're asking like 80 grand for a car now. Like it's, it's completely nuts. But yeah, I'm going a bit on a tangent here. But speaking of inflation, heating has been an issue. My bill basically doubled. So I ended up buying a wood stove. I figure if I want to move off grid eventually, I may as well get used to the idea of a wood stove. So I can't wait to get it set up. I just, I've just been so busy with work too. So it's like, I never really get stuff done because I'm always working. And then when I'm not working, I just have stuff that it needs to be done, like laundry, cooking, you know, all that regular stuff, right? So it's kind of a pain. Like I wish I had more time. And that is one of the reasons I want to eventually live off grid is because I actually will have more time. If I can figure out a source of income other than a job, like some kind of gig or something, I'll have more time to myself because I won't have as many bills. So I'm kind of hoping that I can get to that point eventually. It'll be a while though, because I need to build a lot of stuff and I only have like four weeks of vacation per year. So it's kind of tough to try to get all that stuff done in such a little time. And our summers are just so short too. So I only get maybe three months where I can actually go because otherwise it's snowed in, I can't get to it. Now, once I decide to live there, I'll probably want to get a skidoo and I'll probably want to get a tractor so I can plow the road and get the truck in and all that. But for the time being, it's just not feasible to do that. Oh yeah, I'm in the basement now. I figured I'd give you a look at the wood stove. So here it is right now. It's made by a company called Englander and it's a pretty overkill wood stove for the size of this house. It's like double what I need, but the person I was talking to that specializes in this stuff said it's still better to go with big ones. So I figured why not? There's the inside, it has all the brick and all that stuff. Pretty standard wood stove. Now I've never actually used one of these before, believe it or not. But if I plan to live off grid, I'm gonna have to get used to it. So may as well do it here at the house. So this is the area that it's gonna be going at. I'm really hoping to get it here like this winter, but the guy who installs the chimney, like he's so busy, he hasn't had a chance to do it. So I might just do it myself. So the chimney's probably gonna go through the wall here. Like I need to open all that up. I need to put some cement board on the floor, put some tiles all, all around here too, even the ceiling. And then I might even have a duct that kind of goes across and it goes somewhere along here. It's pretty dark, so you might not even be able to see it on camera. But the idea is to have it go here and then to the furnace so I can have the heat of the wood stove kind of get sucked into the return and then go through all the house. That's the goal. But I might not bother with that right away because it might just happen naturally. Like I actually have a return over there. And obviously that's a bad spot for the freezer. So that's going to have to move. I'm probably going to end up like walling this in. But that's actually the servers behind there. So obviously I'm going to want to enclose all this. So I have a lot of work here to do before I can even have the wood stove going. So realistically i think it's only going to happen like for next winter but at least i'll have it because the heating bill is just going to keep going up like they just keep jacking the rates of everything even the hydro is probably going to go up so i might put a bigger solar system over my deck or something basically all these things will also prepare me for actually living off grid because the more self-sufficient it can be not only am i going to reduce my bills but it's kind of practice for when i'm doing it for real so me as well right and a lot of the equipment that i'm buying for the house i could probably bring off grid too except for the wood stove because the wood stove was about 400 pounds even on the dolly the way it is now i cannot move this at all 
I actually had two big guys that helped me move this here and I honestly don't know how they did it because this is like dead weight. I can't move that no matter how I try. And when they loaded that up on the truck, it came in tire. And I saw that it came literally like that. Like I, I was expecting it to be like in the cardboard box. And I figured like a big cardboard box, like really thick cardboard, it would be just a bit easier to move because I can kind of flip it or whatever if I need to. But I think even if it would have been in the box, I don't think I could have moved it anyway. So this also made me realize that if I want to buy anything big like a sawmill, which is even heavier, I'm probably going to want to build like a gantry crane or something so I can like lift it in and out of the truck. And then once I get to the property, like I can use the ATV to pull it where I need. So these are all little things I'm going to have to figure out when it comes to living off grid. But anyway, this is pretty much it for this video. This I was kind of all over the place here, but I just wanted to make a quick recap of projects and stuff I've been working on. And to give a recap of how the off-grid property is going. And hopefully that this summer I can actually do more on it. It's kind of my goal to really work on the property and bring the camera and actually vlog the progress. Like I really want to just kind of bring you on the journey. And I think my trick really is to just go alone. Because every time I go, I'm with somebody else and I always feel like I'm constrained by their schedule. Because they always have to go at a certain time or they can't stay for long or whatever. So I think I just need to go alone, bring a tent and camp and just stay there and I'll actually be able to get stuff done that way. So that's my goal anyway this summer. And then this winter, well, I'm hoping to finish the garage because if I can finish that, there's a lot of things I can prefab here, like walls for the cabin and stuff like that. I can actually prefab that over here. And then when I get there, it's just faster. Or I could at least build myself, you know, some tools that can help. Like, you know, stuff that's just easier to do here and then I can have it at a head time. Like I have all this stuff to build a solar power pack that will basically sit like on a dolly and I'll basically have a 2000 watt inverter. So once I have that set up, I can charge all my batteries and power anything that needs to be powered and it'll be portable. So yeah, so there's a lot of little projects like that I want to make. But first I need the garage to be done. So that the wood stove and then the garage, those are kind of my main two priorities this winter. And hopefully by spring, I can kind of get started on the property. So yeah, this is it for this video. And thanks for watching and have a happy new year. Bye.